Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today, we seem to have even more Halo Infinite toy leaks. These are probably from the 2021 line and there are some things we already knew about, some new entries and some general mega constructs, not just Halo. Now before we get going today, these are all from Brian MCX on Instagram. He's a pretty new account and I don't know whether he works for Mega Constructs because he does bash them sometimes. I think he's maybe on the production line. He's got some kind of early access to these toys and he's showing us them today. So go and follow him for the latest toy leaks. We're gonna start today with a video that he posted. This is of the Brute Chieftain and he's just tearing into that bad boy. We saw this, it's the leak from Halo Heroes Series 13, and it looks gorgeous. Some really beautiful new armor there. I thought at first that it might have heavy dry brushing, but it seems to just be the armor, just a super silver armor, and wow, I, it does look fantastic. The gravity hammer as well with a lot of detail, that red banished color just popping so nicely, and Again, I, I guess Halo Heroes Series 13 is just five figures with uh, only the Master Chief as a named figure. So, I mean, that is pretty disappointing, but what can you do? It still looks like an awesome figure. Now, we're going to jump into the new sets. These are four figures or four pictures that were leaked by Brian at MCX. We're going to start with this blue Spartan here. Now he's got that sort of electricity kind of pulse rifle. I like that it's actually got a brown barrel to it. That's a nice paint app. And these are all in individual bags. So I imagine they're from sets. They're not from any kind of blind bag series, but that's interesting because sets don't really ever have colored or detailed weaponry. So it's nice to see a painted gun. That's really cool. It looks like to me, it's the Halo Infinite Master Chief in blue. They usually do that, they make a new Master Chief mold, then they release it, then they just start releasing different paint apps of it, and it looks pretty awesome. I think it's Master Chief, it, there's a lot of debate. There's a strange silver thing, which I thought was a knife at the top at first, but maybe not. We've got this blue Spartan. Then another Spartan, we've got this red guy. I can barely make this one out. The helmet, to me, kind of looks like Scout helmet, but maybe not. These are quite difficult images to make out, which I guess is the whole point of it. They're like real teasers. I don't think these helmets match the new Trailblazer, um, and I don't think it's the Mark VII. It's an interesting one. I could, I, like, I kind of feel like it looks like a scout, but people might disagree with me there. We've actually had a pretty limited run of helmets so far. We've got Recon, the Hazop, and then really just Mark Seven and the Grenadier. I don't think it's any of those, so maybe it's a new helmet. Only time will tell. And then we've got these two images. I think the first one is a Spartan again, and it looks like the Commander helmet. It looks like Carter's helmet in green, which is a really interesting color choice for him. It comes with a bulldog shotgun and that beautiful metallic green. I've been praising the metallic green a lot recently and I would really like it if I could build a whole army of the exact same colors, the exact same commando greens. He looks like he's got the same kind of colored tan to the bottom of his limbs that matches the Spartan Recon. So I would love to have them as a little fire team, yeah. And then we've got one more today from these bagged figures. We've got another green Spartan. He's got a chest, which I guess when I'm looking at it now, it might be the Trailblazer chest. It's that metallic green again. He's got a nice ammo belt and I, I just can't make out the helmet. Maybe it kind of looks like the Mark VII again, but the chest is different. So I would love to know in the comments below which you guys think these are. I mean, surely I think if you took a really long time to directly compare them to every kind of mold, you could figure it out. But I'm kind of just speculating. I enjoy speculating. And we've got these four figures. Definitely a commander. And then I think that is a blue Master Chief. 
the other two, only time will tell. I'm very excited to see these guys drop and then eventually make videos on them. You can sort of follow the journey of it when we start with like the leaks and then we eventually get the sets. I think leaks are only good for a company. I think they're only good PR for a company. And then we're gonna move on to the other Black Series figures that we've got right now. We've seen this guy teased for a long time, the Mega Constructs Black Series Psycho from Borderlands. I'm very excited to get hold of this guy. His paint apps look awesome. And I think it's like perfect for Mega Constructs to sort of use these like, I don't know, it, it's a definitely like a definitive style Borderlands, like those like long black lines, which I think Mega Constructs can utilize really well in their figures. He's got so many paint apps. I love his knee pads, his all of his tribal armor. All of his tribal paint looks really cool. And now we've got a Black Series figure that I think took everybody by surprise, a Sam Fisher figure, which, I mean, cool. I, I'm happy with that. I would like to open it. I would like to have it on my display. It does look pretty damn simplified. I mean, there's nothing that sort of stands out to me about this figure. He even seems to have identical knee pads to the Psycho. I think actually the exact same knee pads to the Psycho, which is pretty funny. You know, the head has no removable eyepiece, like that is just one fixed head, which is a bit of a shame. They have like really developed that soft silicon plastic, which I think they could have used to have the goggles being removable, but no. Nope. And it kind of just looks like a basic Call of Duty figure. When they used to do the Call of Duty covert ops figures, like it's pretty much exactly the same, pretty much no paint apps and uh, a gold shotgun with like no no paint apps again so it's actually like a, a pretty simple figure maybe it's a super early prototype so i can't knock it too hard we're kind of just gonna have to see how that develops then we've got one that i am really happy about i i love seeing these guys cl4 ptp blu claptrap blue um i mean look at him he's a, he's really cool he's a lot of fun I really enjoy my Claptrap figure. I think it's one of my favorite Mega Bloks figures. It's just got so much personality, so much life to it. This looks like almost the exact same. I mean, they're clearly just using the same mold. Why not? It's the exact same robot. But they've added a pizza slice, which uh, I play Borderlands a lot. I, I guess I don't really remember pizza, but I, I, it's probably a, a recurring joke of that. But they've definitely got that pizza slice. And then they've also got a rocket extension, which is pretty fun. So he can be flying through the air. I think that's a really nice addition. You can take off the wheel, pop that rocket on, and he's flying away. I also, I love the ear flaps on the Claptrap figure as well, yeah. In terms of Black Series figures, I miss out on a lot of them. I, you know, I'm not interested in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, those kind of things. But I definitely think Mega Constructs' best qualities are going towards, like, gamers, like, Black Series figures, like collectible, really bespoke sort of figurines. The best way of doing that is hitting gamers. So Borderlands, Sam Fisher, you know, um, well, Halo, Call of Duty, Destiny, like all of those things. It's really, I mean, I think they sell really well. I've not seen any Destiny news for a long, long time, but I thought those figures were kind of selling well at the time. Yeah, guys, these are some Halo toy leaks. Please do follow Brian MCX on Instagram. He's a brand new account, but we should go show him some love because you know he's 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 leaking toys. Like we gotta we gotta support this guy. He'll leak more toys, and I can make more videos. Yeah, I would love to see more openings from him as well. I cannot wait to tear open that brute chieftain on my own. And those four figures, I would love to see a lot more Halo Infinite Master Chiefs in different color schemes. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with the domain. You stay awesome out there. Thanks for all the support. Go watch my goofy Halloween movie that came out yesterday. It's a lot of fun. And the Forward Unto Dawn is signing off.